Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news. It is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey guys, Richard Santiago here, and welcome to Rehash with Zach and Anthony here on the Freedom Channel. Thank you so much to Richard who provided our intro. If you'd like to be awesome like him, link in the description to where you can provide an intro and be an awesome, bamfy type person like him. Um, so we got a couple of news to have whatever we want to discuss with you, but the very first, the most important, is that it's Friday! Oh. Now, the, the, the great thing about Friday is it's a universal concept that that yeah, everybody loves Friday. Yeah, they did tomorrow, you get to not do anything. Yeah, we pretty much get to F off. So we got a couple of news to have whatever we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family. We're going to jump right into those. First thing I want to talk to the Freedom Family about is the fact that um, an Australian intelligence agency had a leak recently. And it was leaked on 4chan. Right. Now, if you know anything about 4chan, either your post is accepted very well, or they dismiss it as what they call fake and gay. This was a post that was dismissed as fake and gay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was real. And it was real. Um, and there were some uh, pretty scathing um, things that were, you know, put out. You know, uh, the civilian deaths and, uh, and uh, all kinds of things. Um, and it was just dismissed, like, Boom, that's not real. Yeah. Um, however, this person is now, the person who supposedly posted this is in MAJOR trouble because it was real. So, um, 4chan, um, you guys need to work on your, your, your filter there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know in the comment section down below, uh, what you think of, um, 4chan, or if you really want to get political with it, what do you think about this leak, if you know anything about it, link in the description where you can read more about it. Uh, then you want to discuss? Yeah, so yesterday we covered World of Warcraft. The subscription service is now down to what, 5.4.6 million? Uh, 5.6, yeah. 5.6 million subscribers. So recently, World of Warcraft released a new installment to the game. Called, oh, really? Yeah, called Legion. It's called World of Warcraft Legion. So wait a minute, wait a minute. We had a comment the other day, and I'll see if I can find it, put it up on the screen. Maybe I can't find it, I don't know. Where somebody said that the reason that subscriptions were down was because there was a lack of content. Well, hey, there you go. Yeah, now we have more content! Yeah, yeah. So, so they added new, you know, a hero class, they added all kinds of stuff. If you guys want to read more about it, there will be a link down below via the description along with a new cinematic trailer that is released. Now, sure. something I love about Blizzard is they make them the best, like, animated videos ever. And they also have a tendency to keep them quiet. Like, yeah. you know, you'll notice, like, some... Like, there's never been a leak mm -hmm. of... As far as I know, a leak of a Blizzard trailer. Right. But it, it seems like everything else on the internet gets leaked all to hell. But right. their trailers, it's like under lock and key. Right, and then out of the blue, it just pops out. So they added a huge array of stuff that you guys can go check out. I'm kind of interested. I'm not a huge WoW guy, but this really does look cool. So. Okay, so we do have other news stories around here some somewhere? We'll, we'll, we'll find it. So in the last place that you would expect to find something funny and awesome, you know, the internet, uh, we found that... Terry Crews, better known as the Old Spice Guy, is now kind of having a, a war with the old Old Spice Guy. Um, now, some of you may remember the old Old Spice commercials, where it was uh, a man saying, Ladies, look at me. No, look at your man. No, look at me. Th that guy is back, and it seems like they've got two different sections of Old Spice branding that they've, they're pushing. One is like, you know, Ladies, look at me. You're, I'm the man, your man can smell like. That guy. And then there's, you know, Terry Crews, who's just way over the top and just like... Like screaming into the game. Right? Ah! Yeah. So, you know, I, I think the duality of it is, is really nice. Um, and I love the fact that they appeared together. Um, and I personally thought this was a US-only thing. Hmm. But I showed this to one of our uh, colleagues, a recent transplant from the UK, and he's like, I know that guy! Well, I mean, honestly, like, with Old Spice, I buy Old Spice stuff just because of the commercials. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. I'm guilty, too. Um, and uh, you got into the news tablet? Yeah, so YouTube is notorious for having the 301 Plus lock. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so the reason that it's actually in place is because YouTube has to verify the views on whether or not it's real views or bot views. Unfortunately, bots do exist. Bots? Yeah, bots. Who so, bots? Uh, a lot of people. Apparently. Really? Yeah, so they've had to set that system up in place. It's been around for quite a few years, actually. So recently, YouTube has said, you know what? We think we can now filter out real views versus botted views. So this is actually in place right now. So I had a question. Why would robots want to watch? YouTube videos. Well, it, no, hey, there was there was that robot that we figured out could learn from watching YouTube videos how to do like household tasks. Are those the kind of robots we're talking about? No, these these are actual like fake botted code oh, type thing. Yeah. Bad. 
Yeah. People use it to increase their view count so they can rank in YouTube searches and whatnot. Ah. But it's against the YouTube terms of service. Do not do it, guys. Yeah, no. But either way, they removed the 301 Plus lock, so now no longer can you guys be in the 301 Club. Oh, we're going to have to create a new club. We'll have to figure something out. If you have any ideas about new clubs that we could start, let us know in the comment section down below, and I'm open to suggestions. Yeah. And do you have any suggestions? I right? do. Tesla Motors recently released uh, a, a video <laughs> of its new patented um, charging system for the, uh, the Model S. Now, the thing about this is, it was a very short, like, 30-second video. And somebody basically paired it with Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On, and it is hilarious. Now, it does use copyright music, so it may be gone by the time you see this, if, um, you know, if they get a strike, I don't know. But, um, while you can, click the link in the description, along with all of the uh, stories that we've discussed here today. Click the links if there is a comment section on any of them. Hit them up with hashtag rehash, let them know they've gotten the Freedom Family hug, and that pretty much wraps up all of our stories, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, wow. Until Monday. Until Monday? I don't want to wait till Monday. Jeez. All right, if I have to. Well, that pretty much brings us to the comments! Let's do this. So guys, it is Friday. Before we do wrap up the week, we want to cover some of the comments that you guys leave. If you guys haven't left a comment now, make sure to post one, whether it's a question, funny, joking, literally anything. So speaking of which, you had a guy. As a matter of fact, I do. First one comes from Speedy R Us, who says 99% of people won't read this. Uh, he's right. Yeah, so coming number two comes from Official Pirates Fraser. Cool name nonetheless. He says, how many people are on the waiting list for getting their intro on hashtag rehash? So right now we have like, what, 500? 500-ish. 500 500-ish intros. It's quite a few to go through, and normally we try to go, you know, you know, 100, 102, yeah, exactly. So unfortunately, if you guys have submitted an intro, say, behind July 4th? Of, July 4th, yeah. yeah. Normally, your guys' intro will not be used. We've, and, and here's the thing. Uh, the ones that haven't been used, yeah. um, the reason they haven't been used is they uh, either... Um, someone, some people provided um, like their own CGI intros. Copywritten stuff. Copywritten stuff. They've submitted uh, things with music that we can't track down. Exactly. They've um, submitted things with, um, uh, like, you, you know, where it's not really an intro. They just submit a random video, <laughs> right. or they've privated it, removed or it. they've removed it. So, if you are waiting for yours and you submitted before July 4th, look mm -hmm. into maybe one of those being the issue. Yeah, but nonetheless, if you guys want to make a rehash introduction, just say, hey, this is who I am, and welcome to rehash. Hmm, try to spice it up. Do, like, maybe wear a hat, maybe wear something funny. Try to just spice it up and do a cool, you know, rehash introduction. Yeah. All right, third comment for today right. comes from Silent Tour, who says, even though I'm a former partner of Freedom, you guys are still awesome! Thank, Thank you! you. Um, it's, it's been asked before how we feel about people who are no longer partnered with Freedom watching the show. We say, welcome! And if maybe one day you ever decide to join again, we'll say welcome again! But yeah, no pressure. Um, shall I have track? Yeah. And before we wrap up Friday, we get to talk about the, the partner. partner! Yeah! Let's do this thing. Thank you to Richard's How To Reviews and Unboxings. Now, guys, he submitted a really cool rehash introduction. So, for the most part, he doesn't upload all that often, but he does show a lot of potential. He has amazing overlays in his content. The thumbnails could use a little bit of improvement, nonetheless, but he has a lot of potential to show on his YouTube channel. You know, here's the thing. Um, Richard actually used to be a recruiter for Freedom. Mm -hmm. really? So, he, you know, he hasn't had a whole lot of time for, you know, doing this. Um, but what I do like about uh, Richard and his channel is the fact that he sticks with it. Um, he also left his uh, intro public, which helps uh, advertise the show. We appreciate that. Thank you. Um, now, I, you know, there are a lot of things that I could probably um, go through and, you know, and nitpick about. But to be honest with you, for, you know, for somebody who I know has a lot going on and who is... You know, he's not putting a lot into his channel because he's got a lot of other personal stuff going on. Um, I say, you know, just keep at it the best way that you can. And um, most likely the advice that I'm going to give you, you already know. So, I mean, leave it. If, if I could give anything to Richard, I really don't know the guy personally, but, you know, doing reviews with unboxing, awesome. he's an awesome guy. Apparently, you're really awesome, Richard. He is awesome. Yeah, you're awesome, Richard. So, I mean... Find something that you like, whether it's a, it's a cheap gadget and an hour to the company. Say, hey, this is who I am, this is what I do, maybe you get some products. But you have a lot of potential, man. So if you guys want to go check him out, open the description and go spam Richard with hashtag rehashed. 
rip it real good. You're gonna send me back to rehab. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, well, that pretty much wraps everything up, right? Mm -hmm. All right, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. <laughs> I got him. Air conditioners back on, please. All of them. All the air conditioners.